since all the parks and beaches are closed, we are here today to do gymnastics at home. I'm going to play with you and I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do at home with maybe a stuffed animal or a pillow and uh, with a little bit of space. Uh, be sure that all the furniture is moved. Be also sure that you have an adult supervising the work you're going to do. We are not trying any skills. We have no room to do skills. I hope, but we don't have. So I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do to keep your body in shape. OK? So let's start with a warm up. We need the muscles warmed up to keep working with them. So let's start by walking in place. Great. We're going to start now going with the knees up. So if you are ready, we are going to count to eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Had a ball, jumping a little bit. And let's go for A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And walk. Good job. Take a breath. Now, show me if you can go with your heels up and up and up and up. We are going to start now jumping a little bit in. Close your legs to one side, to the other. Open and open. Open and open. Two. Open, open. Open, close. Open, close. Yes. Now, a little hop. Yay. A little hop. Let's do it. Part, jumping. We need to spend some energy. And I know all of you know how to do jumping jacks. Are you ready? Let's go for A and it open and close. Go. to get a little bit of water. I have my water here. You can go get a glass of water. Get some. All right. Whee. Now it's time to stretch a little bit. So open your legs with your arms up. We are going to stretch to one side, one arm, the other one over your head and go and stretch one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back up to the other side. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands up. Go to the middle between your legs. Here and stay. One, two, keep your knees straight, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay there. Don't go back up. Hand to your foot. The other one is going to be up to the sky. Let's switch. switch. And switch. And about faster. Let's do it. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Come on. One, two, three. Keep your knees straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Stay down. Bend your knee. Good job. Now, bend one knee. Keep the other leg straight. Go to the other side. And to the other side. And again. Good. One more. Beautiful. Now close your legs. Bend your knee. Try to keep your hands on the floor and see if you can go with your knees straight. If it's too hard to keep your hands on the floor, you can grab your legs and stay. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Bend your knee again and sit on the floor. Good job. Open your legs now. Let's see if you remember the name of that position. Yeah, that's a straddle. Good job. Now, hands up. Turn around. Look at your foot. Look, my toes are facing the sky. I'm trying to reach to my toes. If you can't reach to your toes, don't go that far. You can grab your leg. Don't bend your knee to go to your toes. Keep it straight and reach. And stay, and stay, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Reach up again, turn around to the other leg. Remember, reach to your toes, don't pull your toes back, don't bend your knee, keep it straight. And go down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do a last one. Reach as far as you can to the floor. And again, don't let your knees go up. Push them down and reach. Can you go with your nose to the floor? Can you go with your chest to the floor? Try it. Let's see. Stay and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, walk back, back, back. Wow, that was awesome. Feet together. Hands on the floor. If your toes are coming close to you, you can set high toes. If they are going far away, say bye-bye toes. So hello toes, they are flexed. Bye-bye toes, they are pointed. So keep your toes pointed. Keep your knees straight. Hands up and Reach for your toes. Again, if it's too hard to go, just grab your legs. If you can go all the way, just leave your hands here next to it. Yay! Here we go for six, for seven, for eight. Nice. Now shake it, shake it. Crisscross applesauce. Hands. Let's cook some meatballs. Meatballs, spaghetti, I know you know. And now, some tomato sauce. 
And more this and cheese. I love cheese. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's go on our knees. We are almost done with the stretching. Pick your favorite leg. This leg is going to go forward in front of you. Stretch. Nice. Now, hands on your leg. If it's hard to hold your balance, you can put your hands on the floor. And let's go forward and backwards. Bend and straight. Nice. Bend and straight. And stay here forward. If you are doing this correctly, it's going to hurt a little bit here. And it's going to hurt a little bit here. Nice. Stay, stay, stay. This hand is moving to this way. And I'm staying. Good job. Good job. Nice. Now, the front leg is going to be straight. And we are going with our nose to the knee. And stay. Let's count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we switch. I know the other leg is not your favorite leg. What am I to do it? So let's go forward, forward, and stay. Great. Now hands on the floor, nose to your knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. So, we have one more skill. It's kind of stretching, but it's to try our strength too. This one, it's the tabletop. Some of you know how to do bridges up already. But let's try this one first, okay? Tabletop up, tell me to the sky. One leg up. Remember, we have been talking about hello toes, bye bye toes. Position it's bye bye toes. Stay one, two, three, four. Let's try the other leg. Ready? Tell me to the sky. Bye bye toes. One, two, three, four. And now, let's see. Can we go with one hand up? Hey, one, two, three, four. Let's see the other. One, two, three, four. That was beautiful. And let's finish this part. Higher legs. And let's rock and roll. Nice. Beautiful. Now we are starting with our work with the pillow. All of you may have a pillow at home, right? Usually it's in your bed. It's in the couch. Let's put the pillow on the floor. If you don't have a pillow, you can use a shirt. You can use a jacket. You can use something that you can put on the floor, not too big. All right? We are going to start working on our positions. The first position we are going to practice is the house. When we make a house, we have feet together. We are trying to keep the knees straight. That's going to be at the end. So we bend. Hands on the floor and strain it. That's a house position. All right? So if we have a house position, we are going to try to do this with the arms. We are going one side and close, backwards and close, forward and close, sideways and close. And again, one hand the other, one hand the other, one hand the other, one hand the other. One more time, beautiful. Now if you bend your knees, you're gonna try now to jump from one side to the other of the pillow. That's gonna work for our future cartwheel. So, jump to one side, to the other side. To one side, and to the other side. And to one side, and to the other. Beautiful. Now keep your knees straight again. We are going to jump from one side to the other. On this time, we are going to try one knee straight and one bend. So when you go down, 
this knee it's gonna be straight and jump straight and jump straight and jump straight and jump so if you want later on you can practice to go a little higher now last one hands I forgot we have two more our legs are going to be straight and you're going now side to side side to side side to side side to side no more glasses and now it's going to be the last one this one is the last one and it's to practice the handstand position hands up house let's see if you can go with one leg up to the sky. Remember, hello toes, bye bye toes. Head between your arms. Can you see your foot? Nice. Let's see if we can do it with the other leg. Straight, up, and stay, and stay, and stay, and stay. And down. Beautiful. Now, you know to go on the handstand or on the cartwheel, usually we are doing one long step and we are reaching forward to do it. So we can use our pillow here on the floor to practice the first step forward to do the skill. So, we are going to start behind. We have straight knees, hands up. I am going with my arms up and I'm covering my ears. So we are going to go with one knee up and far away on the floor. Let's try again. Pick your favorite leg, okay? We're going to try both. And then you pick which one you like better, okay? So let's try. Feet together. Hands up. Let's go with the other leg. Arms by your ears. Knees up. And go. Check that my arms are up, this knee is straight, and I'm facing forward. I'm not going here. I'm not going here. Always up. Let's try again. Now you know your leg, right? You know which one you prefer better, so let's try. Feet together again. Arms up, head between your arms. Up, and go. Wow, that was great. One more. It's going to be the last one. Ready? Arms up. Deep breath. Chin up. Knee. And go. Stay, stay, stay. One, two, three. Back. That was perfect. Now it's time for another water break, okay? Remember? Get water. Healthy. We need it. Our last part, it's going to be with our little friend. If you don't have a stuffed animal like mine, you can use, again, a jacket, a little pillow, a little something. No too heavy, okay? We have to be able to play with it. We have to be able to squeeze it. So, the first exercise, it's going to be to work our abs. So, I want you to lay down on the floor. Be sure that your head and your shoulders are off the floor. On that way, our core is going to work. Keep your knees up. And we're gonna try to play with our friend, and our friend is gonna go between your legs when you are moving them. Now, if this is too hard for you, you can leave your feet on the floor. So every time you go up with the stuffed animal, you're going down with your foot. So it's gonna be up and up. Let's go for eight, ready? 
in. One, two, three, four. Uh oh, went over both. Five, six, seven, eight. I bet we can do eight more. Come on, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was beautiful. Now look at this. Lay down so you can rest a little bit at your knees and rock and roll. Good job. Now, my friends, we're going to leave our stuffed animal on the floor. We're going to put a push-up position on top of it. Can you see my legs straight? My back is rounded. It's not arched, it's rounded. Okay, I'm looking at my stuffed animal. And I'm gonna try to touch it with one hand at a time. I'm gonna touch one and one. Let's go for eight times, you ready? Squeeze your bam bam, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I bet we can do eight more. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, nice. That was great. He's happy. We are going now with some leg exercises. So, he's going to be there. He's going to be looking at me. My legs are going to be on the side. We're going to work first one leg. You pick which one do you start. Bye bye toes. This is to have our legs straight. We need straight knees on most of the skills. So let's practice that. Point your toe. We have to go side to side. And we are going to try eight. You ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, let's go to the other side. Here we go for eight more. Ready? In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can go on top of his head. Don't touch it, okay? Try to don't touch your stuffed animal. And let's see if we can go both legs up and both down at the same time. You ready? Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Five more. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. That was great. Now, we're going to try one exercise. I want you to practice first your hands position. We're going to carry here on our hands two plates. You can carry your favorite foot here and here. No too close to your face, no too far away. We're going to try to practice to go back and forward. We are not flipping. Not flipping, just touching the floor with our hands. What are we gonna do with our friend? Our friend is gonna be between our feet or here between our knees. Be nice, don't squish it too much. Ready with your hands? Back and forward. Can you see my hands? 
Your hands should touch the floor super quick. Hands and come back. Let's try one more, okay? Ready and go. Hands and come back. That was great. That was great. Now, I'm going to leave him right behind me. Let's see if I can go backwards, only with my hands on the floor. And when I'm close to the floor, I'm going to open my legs so I'm not touching him. Let's see if I can do it. Can I touch him? No, it's on my place. Let's try again. Ready? Hands. Be sure to touch with your hands the floor, okay? Wow. Let's do two more, okay? Here we go. One. One more. Two. That was really good. Really, really good. And let's see if we can do another one. I bet you remember how to do a candlestick. Candlestick is when you go with your feet up to the sky, your hands to the floor to hold your body. We don't go backwards like we did before. On the one that we did before, we were going with our feet backwards. Now we are going with the feet to the ceiling, feet to the sky. And your hands are staying here next to your legs to hold your balance. So we start on attack, hands on the floor, and we kick. And we go back to the same position. That's attack. Attack position, hands up. And go. Guess what? We're going to try to hold him all the way up to the sky. You ready? Stay there. Hold on tight. Hands in front of you. Remember, hands to the floor. Feet to the sky. And down. That was good. Do you think you can hold it like... If we count to four, let's see. You're ready? Hands in front of you. Tuck position. And one, two, three, four. Wow. I bet we can do it one more time. You ready? Tuck position. Let's count to four. Here we go. One, two. Three and four. Yay! So, we have to do one more exercise that is working for our core and it's working for all the positions we need on gymnastics. That position is the hollow position. I know it's not easy to do, sometimes it's really hard to hold it, but let's see if we can practice so we are going to be super strong at the end of this class. So, hold your stuff animal again between your feet. Lay down, shoulders off the floor, head off the floor. Keep your hands on the floor and see if you can lift your stuff animal a little bit. And then your hands, that's a hollow. Let's count one, two, three, Four, and down. We're going to try that again. Ready? So we start here sitting. Lay down. Nice. Hands on the floor. Chin to your chest. Pick it up. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. We're going to try this again. On this time, our friend is going to be here. We're going to hold it between our chin and our chest. So, hands in front of you. Lay down. Hands on the floor. Hold it. And go one, two, Three, four. 
We're going to try this one more time. On this time, we're going to rock. Rock means we are moving like a rocky chair. So, I'm going to put him on my feet. I think he is more comfortable here. So, he's on my feet. We are going down. To do the rock, we better have our arms up straight. And we are going to try to rock. Bend down, bend down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was perfect. I bet we can do four more. Let's try. Last four. Come on. Take a deep breath. Go down. Arms up. Straight and rock. One, two, three, four. Yay! Hi, you did a great job today. All right, friends. I think we are done for today. You did awesome. I can see that. You did great. So, be sure to stay safe. If you want to see this class again, or you want one of your friends or somebody from your family to see this and work again, it's going to be uploaded to YouTube during the week. Okay? So, stay at home. I hope to see you soon. And thank you for watching.